going on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing great myself. <laughs> Uh, don't want to forget to remind you guys, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when things happening in Arthur happening. Words are coming out of my mouth, too, so that's happening. And, yeah, and also I've got an affiliate link down below. If you plan to purchase a game and want to help me out, feel free to click on that and use that to do it because it does help me out. Either way, welcome back. And last episode, we were over here, and we got ourselves our little coal plant going, and we have coal on MK2's double stacked coming out the door. Uh, this for That's for future proofing right now and we well, i was talking about last episode we're going to build a hub somewhere and i think honestly like in this area is where i want to do it like this is a large amount of space here uh, there's a nice little planty plant and down here and then over here we have copper ore already and we know we have iron ore over there and there's iron ore over that hill up top and there's iron ore over there there's we it's, and there's there's like there's limestone around us and I feel like this would be a decent spot to do this. And it looks like there's no stink forces nearby. The closest stink force is all over there where our other one is. I know this isn't that far away from where we are started, but it's a different spot and it's nice and wide and open. We have a nice scenic forest over here that I'd like to keep. I don't, I'd like to have the forest be a thing. So what I want to do, well, first off is we need to grab these resources out of the way. But do, am I full? I am full. Well, there you have it, folks. We're over. We can't do anything. It's full. <laughs> Uh, let us do this. Let us line up a nice... We just ran out of power at the base, but you know what? Right now, we are in the middle of builderizations. I will not be impeded. It's quiet, too. It's nice and quiet. Let's actually put... Let's do this. Let's put you on... 7. You on 8. You on 9. You on 0. And let us try and line something up here with this rock. Like this. And we're going to go ahead and grab the slug, too. This will be the first green slug slug period that we grab. There's green slugs and yellow slugs um, in the game right now. I don't know if they plan to add more slugs or not. We have to get rid of you. What does my inventory look like? Full. You're full, too, aren't you? Oops, I keep, I'm still used to doing that. You are. Urgh! Let's build some more foundations, then. <laughs> Let's go over here. Now, my goal is actually we're going to raise the floor up by a nominal amount to where we are, like, have this whole underground basement set up. It also helps us cover up the nastiness of that. We can grab you. You're empty? You're empty. We don't need to grab you. It'll help us cover up the nastiness of, like, these rocks coming through. And I think this is our highest point in the area, except for that rock over there with, well, with that slug, too. Wow. But I think what we're going to do when we get over to that area, maybe we'll make a little um, open area around it with, like, lower entrances to enjoy the, the lovely forests. And normally I would pick up and clean everything out, but we're just trying to burn up some stuff there. That should be enough to grab to do that, to get the copper ore up. Yes. There it is right there. And what I'm going to do is I'll destroy it because we have enough copper coming in, and I don't need this in my inventory. Dun, dun. There we go. So that is in. We'll just do this. And I'm just trying to build up to grab that slug because it's a little bit easier to do like this than it is to just, you know, have to. It's a yellow? It's a green one. Okay. It's about to say. If that was a yellow one, that'd be insane. So let's go up to this height and up. Whoops. And up one more. And I think this is going to be what we're going to build our hub on, our whole factory everything on and then we can run conveyors down below and maybe do some overflow storages down below to open up some stuff so we can grab this out of the way now we'll do this for now so it makes it a little bit easier to build over this point and what this will do is create our new home this is going to be called slug point we, we have this is the point where we got the slug and how many walls high is this? Is it three? We might go up one more. It is three. Let's go up one more, because why not, right? If we're going to go, go all the way. So luckily, that was attached to the top of it. So all I got to do is do this. Get rid of these guys, and then attach one to the top of that one. Let's do it this high. This will be kind of cool. And the good thing is I, I brought a lot of concrete with me, 
and we have a lot of iron plates with us that's why our inventory is full just so we can get this up and get some walls up too so this will allow us to manage um conveyors underneath us easily and then around the fringes of our central core base we'll be able to do more stuff uh like uh do like ramps to get up in here stairs to get up in here jump pads if needed which might end up being needed I really like the fact that we can do this here. So those are those without the corners. So we'll pop the corners on now. Just trying to make sure our space is out evenly. There we go. And then now we'll come out another row. And this is what I'm going to do for a little bit. I'm just going to keep expanding, expanding. See how much of our concrete can be used to generally get something going on here. Because we, we still have 441 just in my inventory alone. I have containers full back at the at the ranch. Let's fill in the corner screw. We know. No, let's not. See, I've already ruined that. So I have a count of one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let me get this going. I'll be right back. You all hold on. Welcome back. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> this is amazing. I, I really like this. And don't think the base is going to be just flat. Um, this is, I'm making like a new ground. This is like a flat ground, but we're going to do definitely have some variations in heights and buildings and a bunch of other things. Um, I don't need these down because I'm actually kind of like the idea of this being here like this until we start bringing in conveyors. And then we need to start putting these down squared with the roof to get the snaps to work correctly so everything lines in and looks semi-organized down here also it lets the natural foliage have a chance to live a little bit longer before it dies without sunlight i don't think that's a thing so what we have going on over here on this side we have one limestone deposit and we have another one down the way so what i'd like to do is get some miners made actually we're going to grab the limestone miners we have sitting already made and um grab like we have the little personal ones let's go ahead and grab like four of them so we can kind of set things up we also need to get power um running into it and since we have that coal running in the back side we're gonna make a coal section slash platform that will work how much space do i have i have plenty of space for you so let's go over here grab these guys so i can go here grab them we might just grab them all yeah let's grab them all I don't have enough room. Let's throw in this, this, and this, and that sort. Very nice. We could do two more. And then that'll, that'll be what I'll grab. And put these in here. It looks like our things are full. Everything is full with concrete. This isn't filled with concrete. Oh, we're out of power. That's what's happening. My power went out while I was gone. Remember that? Um, so everybody's probably completely empty. Yeah, they are. I'd rather run power back to this and then worry about biofuel with this right now. The only thing I need to worry about biofuel right now is my chainsaw and my lovely little tractor, which is pretty economically efficient on the biofuel, I think, personally. Like, if I went on an exploration trip with this and had one block of biofuel in with me extra, I, I would feel confident on our ability to return from said adventure without too much of a problem. Except for like obstacles and you know idiotic things that I might do. So production, let's get a miner here. This is oh, we got to clear out the spot. Um, this will help us get an idea of how we can block this in. Now this is next to our lovely forest, so I'm not sure how well we'll be able to, you know, manage how this looks next to it. But we'll see what we can do because I like aesthetics along with functionality. That's a big thing for me. So trying to get something cohesive together that looks nice and it complements everything else in the build is important. We got to get rid of you too. You're just hanging out here, man. Blocking spaces. Blocking spaces. It's coming. We got it going. Everything be all right. Yes, it will. Let's do it now. Uh. Okay, it's done. Okay, so now this is opened up so we can now grab our miner. And throw it in here and we definitely need to make the output go in a different direction heck we might be able to just well if i do it like this and i have it kind of square with our build 
we might be better off so I can get closer to it with foundations. I think we're high enough to where we can almost, can we cover it? Did we do that high enough? Oh, that would be amazing. I didn't grab any more. I've got a little bit more concrete. It is just barely too tall. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but this also lets me know my line here too. So let's do that. Let's, let's match our lineup as best as possible. So the miner here, get to where we can see both. So that at least lets us do a nice uh, area around it when we get to that point. We get in front of you there, no. So we can, and we're uh, we're encroaching still with that. Wow. That is correct. Okay, so we'll have to figure something out for that. I really don't want to be touching all on that forest like that either. So we'll figure it out as we go. That's pretty cool, though, that we did that. If we went up one more, I'm not moving up one more. Unless we get over the spot and then move up one more, I bet you we could, we could go on top of it. Like, let's, let's just do a test. Like, right here. And then here. Yes, we could. Interesting. But I'm not worried about that. Okay, so what, what I am worried about is our coal production and power coming to our new area that we're working on. It's kind of big. It's a little bit big. A little floating time. Well, we also need to go ahead and set up this limestone deposit too. And this is definitely all up on our nut here, right here, our barrel nuts right here. Let's see if this will encroach or not. Duh, 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 duh. We will, we will rock you. Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. All right, I'll quit that. <laughs> you can't unhear it now. You can't unhear it. It's It's been done. See, I'm sure you're hearing it right now. It's playing. It's going. Ready for this to be done. We're going to get rid of all the limestone we gather from here because we don't need it. There we go. Okay. So let's see how this one works. It's probably going to be... Oh, it worked. Okay, we, we move stuff correctly. And I wonder if we face it this way. That gives us more room in the back. I'd rather have more room in the back right now than... Yeah, because then we can we could, might be able to build this out over another one, which is what I would like. We can. This one's blocked because it's encroaching. And we can almost go ahead and we can block that in too and have a line down. That'll be nice. We can get that slug down once we make it to where we get up top. So we have these areas claimed for the miners. So we kind of know what we're working with for spacing here. The back end here is where we have our lovely coal coming in for our coal plants and stuff. Um, how does this look? We have that sommel flange up there. Uh... Like right there seems like a good spot. And I am completely out of concrete on my guy, aren't I? No, I'm not. I have more concrete. Yes. He's out. He's out. He's out. Let's put these miners in there because I don't need to be carrying them around. Didn't have enough miners before. I have too many now. Same as my life. Okay, so let's go right here. And maybe we can make this our entrance way. It doesn't line up directly with this because it would have to rotate. We don't have any. I wish we had angled foundations and walls and stuff because that would be really, 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 really nice. But we don't. So it is what it is. So if we do something like this. Maybe this is a perfect opportunity to come down one. Oh, there's another slug uh, to come down one. Let's grab some walls. Let's do. Hey, how high up does the coal factory go? The coal power plant generator. Okay, it definitely goes up a lot higher. It needs the whole entire square. Kind of wish that the outline square just needed what the physical body needed, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe we can come here 
that's pretty tight in there. Maybe we can come back another one and build us a thing that comes down from the, these foundations to have a smaller platform here that is outside of our area that you can't, that might be pretty neat. Let's try that out. Let's try you here. We can sometimes get it to go underneath if I, without doing that. We'll do this then. Why are you not? There it was. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Turn it back. Go back. There you go. There we go. Now we have an easier way of getting this down here. And what we need to do is leave at least one wall size open for uh, entrances and exits from this guy. But what we got to do before we do that is get make sure that we can come inside without a hitch. So there's that. I'm going to pop this bad boy. Well, let's do it up higher. Let's see. Yeah, that might be a good spot. So let's pull this out because we're going to put some found. Oh, I pulled the wrong one up. Well, screw it. We're going to do this. Then this. Remove this. And this. And then do this. And what this will end up doing is opening up our generators. We'll probably they come up one more then. Well, we were going to come up one more. <laughs> ah, pre-planning without thinking that it's pre-planning. That's amazing. And the cool thing is we can end up making a road going down to our area too. And we will have to do some ramps to get up and over and out because I want to be able to access our with our trucks without a problem too. And it looks like we got enough room to expand that way if we want to keep it all linear like or not module. It's going to be based on how much coal production we can get out and manage to to influence exactly how things are going to go here. We'll have to redo that conveyor, which is fine. Let's go ahead and get this one up now. And let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and throw these things in here. Get them wired up, make them look pretty, get some, some power going, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. And we have done stuff. We've got things put up over here. I've got a little indent. I figured we could have, uh, if I end up needing to run coal inside of here, I have enough room to work with to do an input area of this. But um, as you can see, I've redone my coal inputs. I have a little bit of ramps. I can probably get rid of these now because I thought I might want to do steps in the ladder to get up here, but I don't think so. We might just put that on and make some cool little front thing with that, though. And it comes in. I ran out of uh, steel reinforced plates, but really only need one line in since this can handle 120. I've built a 10-step storage system, which this one's not connect. Oh, my God. It's got to stop. It's got to stop now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I can't believe I did. Well, I can. I'm like that sometimes. Well, then. Oh, uh, crap. I just noticed it, too. That really sucks because you, know, you can see we have a full belt line going up through and feeding everything to itself to become what it needs to become. This is not that much coal. So I guess we can play this, place this and show you what the mentality is. I'm sure you guys understand what the what the whole thing is. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence of understanding of how this is supposed to kind of work. I played Factorio a lot. Like I did a lot of that on my own. No, no real videos or anything like that just because, you know, I it wasn't doing it really that much then but um we could uh, i do a lot of safe like uh backup systems so like if something happens somewhere you have it taken care of now there is no enemies really in this game to worry about that's going to break your stuff but uh it's still i feel like it's a good habit to have just to have make sure that everything is there we can just use the control to make sure we're lined up and that goes in this one goes out this one goes in And then that I only wanted 10 of them and these have been snapping automatically in the opposing directions to what the, the conveyor with the storage is below them. So this is my input. It goes to you. This is the same thing. And then you are going to come back and go to this guy. This guy goes here and then this guy goes here. So then we have a 10 step process for our storage. And then over here, this is supposed to go back in. And inside of you, I will place all the coal I've got left. There, and then, oops, I need to get these guys mounted out. This like this, and this goes like this. And that leaves uh, these guys to be connected. And that leaves this guy to come out and lead to our coal. So we have like a 10 step process here of protecting our goods. The cool thing is we have one, two, three, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three. So three times eight. What is that class? Can you tell me? It's 24. 24 times 100. That's what is that? That's 2,400 times 10. That is 24,000 backup coal. That should be more than enough. It better be. Because if not, we're screwed. Okay, so what this means is we having an input coming in here. What I want to do is maybe, well, we're going to leave this part outside. I, want, I was thinking about closing it in, but no, let's leave this part outside. Oh, crap. Will it snap back to it? Oh, wow. There we go. And I only need one actual, actually, we don't even need the stack. Well, I do want the stack because I wanted to make sure that I could, if I want to drive a truck down here for any reason, I should be able to drive a truck down here for any reason. So what we're going to do is add a conveyor pole stack right in the middle of that one. Like that high. And that crosses there. And this guy should not be able to go there. Wait. Let me try this out then. I want to see if I can drive through with my truck here at this height. Because I really don't want it to do too much more. Oh, that's fine. We got, we got a ramp. We're good. There we go. I think that works out well enough. We could probably try it one more lower. Because if this goes one more lower and we can still get underneath it, this is probably optimal for what we're about to accomplish with this too. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, so this is done. Good, good, good. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we had this little talk. All right, so we can clean up these pieces here because we only need one feed with how fast this loads up and how little bit we're burning at the moment. So now we need to use splitters. So we do not have on my bar. So we'll go to logistics. We'll go to con splitters, converters, splitters, splitters, put it you on seven. Let's go down to here and we're going to start off with this end and work our way back. We want the input to be right there. And I just want this to line up with the front of this, probably as close as we can get it. Probably about like that. Well, now we want to line up with you. And you're in the center. Okay, we'll do this in the center then. Just so we have a nice, even nice look to it. Oh, we have a rock here. Ugh. Well, we do have an extra output on the end of this. So let's see if we can line this up with this guy and be right about here and then back up. There we go. There we go. Nice. I think that was it. Okay, that was it. All right, so now you can come over here. We'll probably run out of belts here in a second. Or, no, we've got re we got enough reinforced, I think. And this is going to run all the way through here like this. Now, if it comes where we need more power and for some reason this is not sustaining it, uh, we'll build off the other end over that way. Or maybe even turn the coal plateau into a different type into a, a freaking coal power plateau or something so we just need you to get over here and then this coal will start feeding out and loading up our beautiful coal factory of power of generations so the back end of this this new platform we're working on for our hub has got most of the power running out well we could continue running this way i just had to figure out an offset for that i really wish we could get rid of rocks we can't we're screwed on the rocks. I really wish we could had a drill or something. I don't even care if it was expensive as hail to make. So before I end up using this, I'm going to let it do a, get a load going. Why are we getting that much spacing? Did I use the wrong ones? I did. There we go. That That might be the reason why it's taking so long. The cool thing is we can just highlight it, it upgrades it, we're done. And now we got super fast speed all the way through. No, we don't. Did I do this wrong again? Oh, you can downgrade? I didn't know we could downgrade too. That is super awesome to know. I wasn't paying attention to what it said, but I didn't realize that. So let's make sure we're not downgrade. We didn't just downgrade what we did because I was assuming that you can only upgrade. Holy crap, that's new for me.
So everything is MK2 here. It's still got spacing. Is it because of the slope? Hmm. Well, either way, these guys are getting loaded up now, which is really nice. And we have that. That's in there. This place could use a little bit of a dress up, though, on the edges. I did do this little thing going on here. Coming from the factory, I did have to place that um, there like that. And see, this looks okay-ish. It could you stand to have something else happening to it that makes it look like wow. You know, like just not like good, like wow. I mean, we could cover that up. Again, it would look kind of flat though. Let's do this. Let's grab, well, we have the ramp here. Let's see what this would look like with the ramp across the front. And maybe, we, not you, get rid of you. And we have to do that though. We could do that. So let's grab that as in we'd have to put in the foundation and pull it out. Let's see how that looks like with this. So let's put you on nine, nine. And then bring down a ramp, which is on zero. Hmm, this looks like it would be an ever. I would always be adding more and more ramps. No, 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 no. This might work. So that would make it to where we have the entrance here. We have a little bit of this flow going in the front of this. Hmm, so then we might be able to enclose the section up and put like a window here. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we have a lot that start with the base flow of it is one set of the orange. Maybe we could do just not that here and put regular walls up across the bottom here. Without the hatches on it. Like that. And maybe keep that up. Maybe put some windows in this though, since it's, it's yeah, let's do, like, let's do like conveyor openings on the cross the front. Maybe add a little bit of flavor for that. We could do the double ones. That might look pretty nice. And have the frames facing in. And then leave the end ones to have them not having windows like this. Kind of like that so far. And we could end up just closing this portion in and then foundationing this to have a little bit more work room. Let's get rid of that and see if we can put a conveyor window here and have it attached to it. I'm going to throw, can I throw it you in here? No, I can't. I have to go round, round and round. And put this up here and we can probably get some nice looking stuff going on with that all right so you're here oh it's probably too close nope it doesn't yes oh that's so nice excellent so we grab you here and put you in the back of this so now we have the feed coming out through a wall system very nice there it goes out the door very nice let's do the same thing here And do the single wall here. And bring you around to attach to this, which is right here. And have you come around and attach to you. Cool. So we now we've enclosed this because we can just finish this up like that. Uh, and like this, Anna. Let's grab. Nope. Nope. I was in the correct spot. I was just trying to get this one. Thank you very much. There we go. Um, let's put a foundation here because I like how that looks. Okay, cool. Let's add the walls here. You're backwards. I might as well just put you on my hot bar on seven because of how much I'm messing up. That's kind of cool. Okay, so let's do a cross frame. Oh, we gotta finish this up. Uh, maybe, do we have, we have, I got the, these guys unlocked, the walkways. Maybe we can do something like this. Like put this here and then do some, a ramp down. Problem is trying to get back up here. Maybe we could do a split. 
do a crossing here. There we go. It might be in the rock face some, but at least we can maneuver through here. That looks good. Okay. Oh, this was part of the thing too. I don't care. That might add some flavor to it. That, that probably does add flavor to it. And I like good flavor. All right, let's grab that. Let's put a doorway in here. Should be the center one. No, it's the right one. Left one, if I think correctly. So now we can walk into this and go in and out. Very nice. I like that a lot. And that is that road too. So let's keep the, the solid wall here. And then maybe we can cap it off with the orange. Because are these too tall? No, we could just... Yes, they are. I can see the top. Or is that something else? I don't know. Yeah, we, we still need to do a cap of the orange then across it. Let me finish this up here and then we can be happy to say that we have our coal power production in line. Let's cap it with an orange. Let's put the orange facing with the cap out. See how nice and easy this is to build in this game? That, that it's, it's great. I love it. It's amazingly beautiful. It doesn't feel like a creative build because we're, we're spending mats, but... We need some concrete. Well, at least we have a way to come up here to grab some more concrete. Right there. We'll just take all. And get this done up in here. And this looks pretty good, guys. I feel pretty pretty happy about it so far. And that's all of it, right? Or is there another hole over here? There was one more hole trying to hide from us. And I feel like we do need a door out here somewhere. Like, right in the back. Let's put a door right. And then we can do another one of these platforms and go out with it. So let's do organizationals. Let's do a T. And then get the walkway ramps up. And since we're not penalized when we, 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 we remove something, we can always work it in later if we end up bringing that platform out this way. But at least we have an entrance way and an exit way. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. Maybe if we just change this one to be without a window. Maybe single windows then, because I don't like what's happening there. So windows or the wall conveyors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks a lot better. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. We got something up. There's only so many different shapes we could do in this game, too. So this is what we got. Uh... Maybe we can make this this section be a little different. So this guy needs to be a cap. Uh, there we go. And then this one can go over here and be a cap too. And then let's get this guy here underneath. There you go. And these are just straight up ones, right? No, not that one. We need to make sure that we have the straight up sections for beneath it, like that. And then your cap. And this is where it transitions over to this type of this type of thing, right? Yes. And we can get rid of you. And we have a nice looking area. Let's go to the top of this and hope we don't fall off and die. There we go. And there we go. We have our storage facility began. Oh, I need to put storage down. I need to put more blocks down below those ramps. But either way, I think this looks good. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. But as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.